Good morning. I'm sorry I'm running a bit late. It is my fault. I truly apologize. But uh, our Admiral Tico is not doing well. A little upset, upset the stomach. Post his uh, 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 Arabies uh, shots. And so uh, it's the third visit now to the vet since the shots has got everybody, uh, all of us uh, uh, worried. Today's got full. Hopefully today we get to end of it. He's having a full blown uh, medicine and uh, shots and the uh, your calming shots and uh, X-rays and uh, blood, uh, like a, uh, blood work and uh, you know pancreas test, whatever it takes. I said, "There's a carte blanche. Go. Don't don't tell me what. Just fix it. You know, I won't be too bomber. You gotta fix it. Don't tell me what's wrong. Go fix it. Okay. Come back when you do run. So hopefully you don't do that. Let's get started here with timer charts. No, he got. We had the. Uh, uh, <clears throat> I see. Okay, sir. Thank you. We had uh, yeah, initial chocolates came come in. I believe it was 8:40, which was in line. Yeah, 8:40, 8:40. So we're losing about 3.2 plus a month now. So even though they're hiring some back, you got to look at net gain, you guys, in your mind, where we are. Even though we are hiring back based on non-farm payroll, as some, but like this month, we've hired back. Oh, last month we hired back a quarter of what we fired. Because, you know, or laid off, or whatever you call it, that they, they find these are initial jobless claims. So, the BS you hear on the TV, forget it, filter it out. It's all garbage. The data speaks, and this is the government's data. So, we're, this country, this this country, this economy is in deep trouble, and uh, you know, 33, uh, for 32% of uh, GDP gone, 30 million unemployed. Uh, and the 210,000 dead, and and then the highest trade deficit in 14 years, and highest budget deficit. Okay, I I think if the SMP or Moody's, not SMP, uh, uh, Moody's or uh, uh, what's the one I forgot? Uh, this, uh, the rating agencies come to look at our bonds again. They won't be as kind as they were last time. Last time was pre-COVID, I believe. So, and then last night I hear, I'm not sure, I've not verified it, uh, from a political friend, uh, very, very analytical guy, uh, highly, he reads voraciously that uh, China has offered to get paid in its trades by Yuan. If that's true, we have to look into that. If that's true, that's a debasing of the, our reserve currency, and that will change the ball game at the Fed window. So keep that, keep, keep that in mind as you do some research. And, but, but please look for multiple sources to verify that. You know, one, one BAWA website saying something doesn't mean anything. I was telling that to my cousin who was giving me some stuff about this and that. I said, listen, give me some documents, give me some evidence, and some website has a reputation to watch for, not somebody who just, you know, bought the URL out of St. Petersburg. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, don't, don't go with those. Look at somebody who also prints corrections. Value of a good news is it comes from a firm that also prints collection when they're wrong. All right. Let me go to timer charts here quickly. I don't want to be rambling. I know one of you, you guys said I may be rambling at times. I'm going to apologize for that and try to do a better job. Okay. Another reversal. Another walk back. Boom, boom, boom. Yesterday. And we were still heading a little bit higher. So not pleased about that. But I think, if anything, uh, Chances of going still higher would be slowing down. Why? We're at almost two sigma. Okay. Usually we'll have a reaction at two sigma because this is this is not against all time high, but it's against what has done recently. That's what beauty of sigma channels are. It's 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 a natural occurrence of uh, vibrations in the nature, and uh, when you trade, it's no different. You're in the nature to the so the three three three, three four four one, uh, which is another twenty points here. 22 points maybe, yeah, is uh, is what we're looking at. Now, uh, I don't know what the futures are holding right now, but we can look at it quickly. Uh, we're up there. We're almost there. We're almost there. See that? Yeah, we're almost there. Uh, so remember, there's a delta you have to worry about if you're finicky about numbers like I am. Remember, this is the, there's a dot D involved, right? Uh, if you put a dot D here, let me show you something. Okay, uh, so that would be NQZ20.D. Boom. Now, I, I do get it. No, not NQ. Jesus, very. 
ESZ20.D. Sorry, it has to be. Yeah, we, we, all our time is on that. You see, this closes at uh, 4.15 uh, Eastern time. This closes at... Uh, this closes... What? Oh, they, oh, we had that. Okay. All right, you see what's going on. So why don't I uh, insert that in? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. There you go. Okay, so in the sort of stays with Okay, so, so if I sort by value stays together. Okay, so you could see that uh, uh, there was uh, some, uh, there's, there's a delta there, but the delta is also, the, that's the cost of carry plus dividends. But there's a delta also in, uh, because that's a forward contract, but there's also a delta in time. This closes at, the dot T closes at 4.15, it's at 4. So if something breaks at that time, there'll be a de small delta added to the cost of carry plus, uh, minus delta. So keep that in mind. So just adding this is not exact, okay? But good enough, good enough for rough estimates that, that we're almost there right now, okay? Uh, Ber and and Brett Trust is exactly saying that. Not yet with Beckland, but if Beckland opens up that extra uh, the 22 points, yeah, we'll be there. Eh. But we can go up there, stay there. Keep that in mind. McClellan also, you can, on the downside, is very accurate. Upside, we could set up, uh, 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 for example, here, you see that? We kept on going higher. New highs, no, no signal there that we're even overbought. And of course, at one point we were. So that's the difference, okay? Uh, and this is was because of the overnight things between that. It's still, but that's not a solution yet. If you look at politically, remember, politics has an input in the market. Whether you like it or not, you know, you can't. That's why there's some politics post on my feed. Whether you want it or not, you don't get a vote on that. It's my feet. I'll make a choice. Why? This has worked for me. You have to understand the politi politics at the macro level uh, of, of the nations, and at least industrial world. Not not the small ones, but the small industrial world. So, with that in mind, it's a it's a one of the inputs into our black box called market timing. Moving forward, uh, we went up there. I want to get more closer. This looks good. Trans looks good. Risk on is good. So we we're, we're trying to get short here. But we can't get short on, on a, for PMT. We can't get short. I mean, I'm sorry. We are short on the timing, but we can't put a trade on because you can get wiped out in one day. Given we use a very small at, uh, stops. It, it's a part of it. You know, you, you do your spreads. You put spreads or call spreads on sp small stops. So if, you get, if you're wrong, you lose little. But because of leverage, and if you're right, bingo. And you need maybe one or two right scores. You know, every month or two. I mean, it, it really goes. Uh, in uh, January uh, 2019, no, 2018, I was wrong three weeks. One week I was right. That one week paid for the four. Now, the other three. Now, with the time of digest, I lost because that's a straight cash. There's no leverage. But those who trade with us on the option side, they actually slightly made money, just a little bit. Paid for the commissions a couple of bucks extra. Even though the whole month went against us. Why? One day we got it. Because you sometimes you get these. You get one of these. You get one of those, boom, you're done. By the way, I was told last night that one of our option trades in May to August was a little long term, and we did roll. That was how we got into trouble. was with the Qs. Uh, and that was my trade. I know, I know Mark put it out, but it was my trade that I recommended it. Here a little we knew we got caught here. We got caught right in there. Here we'll, we knew that the, one of the worst investors I know, <laughs> called SoftBank, uh, was short a billion dollar. And to cover that, instead of taking the bow and walk away, they they they, they bought calls. So they were short. They they went and bought calls, uh, and I'm sorry, they bought the stocks. They were short calls. They bought stocks. Yeah, in Nasdaq names, and that's how this rally was. And well, and you can see how fictitious that rally was. The moment. Uh, they, they, they could no longer uh, hold on and got out. Usually these turns come. When you get a big guy crushed, market is the bottom or top, where it is. So here, they were short. That's that's when they got they got out. They just say, ripcord, get me out of here. I've hit the canopy. Get me ejection seat. Go. When you get that point, that's the reversal. And how, uh, what do you call it? Uh, 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 artificial that was, and that's why we dropped so much. Nothing changed the economy. Nothing. In the, we've been the same economy we've been since, uh, let's say, May or April. Uh, nothing changed in the election numbers. You know, nothing changed in trade. We've been bleeding everywhere. Well, how come we went up and not like this? It's because that forces out. So, 
For example, you see long term capital. The day long term capital closed was the bottom in 98, which was, uh, I believe, October 8th. October 8th or October 7th, 98. That was the low. Yeah. All right. Here's what I was looking to look for De more detail on the detrender chart. We have 920. I got a hustle. And risk is on. So this is good. New high. We haven't had this was a new high after two years. Not bad. Now another high. So we may still kind of go up a little bit more. We got to see that. It's just that if you look at some of the detail of the data, I post a couple of things on Twitter, on the LinkedIn, and uh, Facebook. Just that if they lose one, there's a timestamp there. It's so that this economy is extremely fragile because of lack of uh, advanced decline and stuff. So we, we, we got to keep an eye on that. Especially longer term, advanced decline line, not just McLaren's data, which has a shorter look back period. Okay? Remember Bertrand Malchio, understand your index before you invest in it. I come and tell you, understand your indicator before you use that to invest whatever asset you're looking at. You see my point? So understand the in indicator itself. We edge up a little bit on the 52 weeks highs. That's good news for the longs. Hardly went up there. Uh, there's a little divergence, but that's just three tea leaves. A little bit. Uh, a little bit small right now, but we'll see if that develops or not. Obviously, nine and up is a time to think about the short side. We'll see if it gets there or not. Uh, this edged up a tad, minuscule. Again, forget the scale. It's a, uh, it's a cover. All right. We're not coming up yet. It will be very slow. These are events. Therefore, it's way too slow to look at SQ. Yeah, in, in a way, now I don't look at it every day. Before, when we were doing this, when we were going through that route, and you can see from central line, every night, the moment the market would settle, I look at my watch, put a lot for 5 p.m. The moment we finish the futures, go to pictures, this is ready, typically. I will go to see what the new value is. Not now, because look at how we're trending on the central line. Okay, and vaults are opening, so it's actually going to continue down. Maybe we'll get below here before it turns back up. I don't know. Uh, this is empirical based on deep out of the money SPX puts by big guns, not SPY, not bomb and pops. This is the big guns. And so, uh, you know, the uh, Goldman Sachs and Morgan Stanley's and uh, you know, big hedges. VXVN, we pulled back on both. This is VX, this is oil tech, uh, 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 Russell. The small cap. So we pulled back a tad. Okay, this is today. Uh, so it's uh, because it, it VIX now is uh, uh, broadcast. Oh, look at this overnight. It's broadcast overnight. I wonder if that's uh, uh, wrong. We'll see. We'll see. Okay. Uh, that's it for here. Let's take a quick look at uh, this chart. A uh, little bit of improvement. We're about approaching 70, as we have talked about in previous. Uh, the morning briefings. Uh, that's about it there. Moving on to, uh, I don't mean to rush, but I need, I have to. Uh, uh, this morning, uh, let's see. Let's go back to uh, uh, now. What happens overnight? Yeah, go to overnight. Here's uh, uh, I got to open one chart there really quickly. This was uh, I I, I tried it down. MB1. Where's MB1? There you go. MB1. This is the overnight stuff. Give us a little perspective where we are. Up at 0 0.8 and 0.6. And this is the shape. Obviously, this is 4 o'clock close. Okay. Very quick. You can run this easily. Sigma channels. CI. And I want to see my true range. Now, I don't measure that for, for usage because it's a little bit too long. For trading, I use 5. Okay. But it gives you some reflection there. Okay. Let's go to OTF. Uh, this is EVB special, Excel Plus. Look where we are, I guess, MBS. We're, we're flying above it. And it's increasing. So there's a pressure up. This is closed, not running yet. Uh, we've got to put some markers up there. We will. After this, because of the, the cell, cell signals. Now, remember, the top takes one to four. The bottom is sharper. Why? Greed, fear, greed. Uh, escalator down. I'm sorry, escalator up. Of elevator down. It's much faster to drop. Moving forward, DMZ uh, is still in a buy, but it's getting a little bit weaker. We understand that. This is differential. Uh, Sigma channel on five minutes, a little bit noisy. Good for uh, uh, focusing and uh, uh, finessing, I should say, as we used to say in the squash. Finessing your shot. Here you're finessing your exits or entries, but uh, not not an indicator of what to do. It's not an entry point. It's, a, it's an exit. You may want it you want to finesse your entry, maybe add on, but not pick a trade. Not there. It's too too short of a time. 
There are these also closed right now because we're not open in 10 minutes. Here's the fractals, okay, small blocks, medium, large, and Excel. We will add one bar there because that's the, that's what CI tells us to do. And there's your dad. Remember, it has to cross it. Cannot be a kiss. Kiss is a failed cross, like uh, here. This is a failed cross. It came to cross it, but it failed. That's a kiss. Those don't count. Plus, it has to be color. It has a color on. So these are the shorts. The bottom will be green. Uh, I think we're running 10 here. No, I think we're running 10. I forget. Anyhow, in terms of filter level for the CI. Uh, what to look at is this right there. Especially with the, the K, K, K targets, the Kettler, modified Kettler targets or bads. Look at the two. They are ATR, I think three ATRs away, something like that. But take a look at see uh, how parallel, not just the other parallel, nothing. The B bands won't do that. B bands will have volatility. B bands are expanding. They're outside of the Kettler. That's the signal. And that means uh, you know, we're going to a direction. We're not directionless. It doesn't say we're long or short. It doesn't say just as we're, we're not directionless. And, but look at the you know, right, right translation, okay? And you buy the dips. This was a, a burst move. Well, because it was flat and then up. That's a, not congestion again. Um, I think it could be a tough day today. Not going to be easy money like yesterday. You know, I made almost 10% yesterday in one account. Why? Well, I'm testing a strategy that could be very beneficial. But you're going to have some trend activity there. As a matter of fact, we'll, we'll get into one of these OTF meetings. Not, not in the morning. But it has to be where you're not, at a, you're not at a trend change, for example, of this trend versus that. Okay? So it has to be in some... some uh, move straight, move forward. We may not be able to do that today. You got to know your days. Not every day was created equal. With that said, we are 927. I got to reset this back.